In today's video, we're going to talk about USDA Rural Development Loans and how you can buy a house with almost no money down. What are the benefits? Well, stay tuned because we're going to tell you everything you need to know. This is the number one channel for everything you want to know about real estate and living in the greater Houston Galveston area. Now, thank you for watching. My name is Sherry Hensley and I've been a realtor for over 15 years in the greater Houston area. I've bought houses. I bought houses at foreclosures. I've flipped houses. I've been a landlord. I've done short term rentals. And my number one goal for many, many years has been to educate as many people as I can about buying real estate and what it's like to live in the different suburbs all around the greater Houston area to help you determine if it's a good fit for you and your family before you actually move there. Let's get right to it. The benefits of the USDA Rural Development Loans are really pretty simple. With this loan, you can purchase a property with a lower to moderate income. You don't have to have as high of a credit score. Basically, if you've got a 620 score and you can purchase a property with almost no money down, your credit score can be below 600 if you can put two to 5% down. Another benefit is if you have private mortgage insurance and private mortgage insurance is an insurance policy that's covered on you and the property. You're the owner of the property. The property has a title policy on the property. Now that PMI or private mortgage insurance is in case you default on the loan. In other words, if you were to lose your job or something traumatic were to happen, this PMI protects the lender. Now, the reason they do this is that the likelihood of something happening, well, you know, anything could happen. So if you don't put 20% down, the lender will want you to pay private mortgage insurance. Remember though, it's on a calculated scale. When you do a rural development loan, this USDA rural development loan is much lower than on a traditional FHA or even conventional loan. So you'll pay less on a monthly basis for that private mortgage insurance premium. When it comes to the USDA rural development loan, people always ask me about the interest rate. The interest rates are pretty much the same as they are with FHA or a conventional loan. Now, this is really cool, y'all. If you have a 620 to a 720, 740 score, you're gonna get the prevailing rate, whatever that rate may be. Now today, looking at mid-March, the rates are hovering around 7% or a little below seven. But you know, here's what's really interesting. You get a great rate with the USDA Rural Development Loan. It's a fixed rate. No one can touch it. It's not gonna go up. Your payments are not gonna go up when it comes to interest and all of that. Now your payment can go up if your insurance goes up or if your taxes go up, right? Now we all know taxes probably aren't gonna go down and we gotta pay those taxes. But at the end of the day, you really need to consider these people purchasing these big $1 million houses plus, they're paying a much higher rate because that's a much higher risk loan. If the mortgage company gives you a loan for a million dollars on a piece of property, it doesn't matter if it's commercial, land, or residential, it's gonna be at a higher rate than if you purchase a property to live in. Let's say 550 to 600,000. Now, how do you get qualified for this USDA rural development loan? Well, first you need to do your research and get with a good lender. We have great lenders we can refer you to, or you can just do a Google search and find somebody with USDA rural development experience. Tell them what you want to do and what your plans are. They're going to ask your income. They're going to ask your credit. They're going to ask for your bank statements. They're going to ask you how long you've been on your job. They're going to verify that information with your employer. They're going to pull your credit to make sure in fact that you are approved not just qualified. Now, I love this and you may too. They don't have to go off this 24 to 36 months credit. They can look at your most recent 12 months of credit. And I tell people this is so important. Pay off your debt, pay off those credit cards, sell something if you have to, to help pay off your debt. It's not for the rest of your life, but you do have to make a shift to make a change in your life to say, hey, I'm not gonna rent anymore. I want a backyard. I wanna be able to garden. I want a garage to tinker around in. I want a man cave or a she shed. 
I want a big living room. I want to crank up my music and not be disturbed. I want to sit on my back porch with my grandbabies or my dog. Heck, I want to fish off my fishing pier. Whatever it may be, a house buys you a lifestyle. It buys your independence. It's so important to buy a house because once you buy a house, you're not relying on somebody else to take care of it. You're not relying on somebody else to take care of your appliances. You're an adult and you get to drive home and pull into your driveway. You'll have your own piece of land that you worked hard for that nobody can take away from you as long as you're making your payments and on it because they give you the money secured by the property to pay your mortgage. You've got a house. You've got a back porch. You've got tall ceilings and walk-in closets. It's your home. Now, your income can't be too high. Income runs about one hundred and four to 105000 but it really, truly depends on the county that you're in. Now, we always tell people, just go to USDA.gov. USDA.gov gives you all this criteria with all these credentials. It tells you exactly what you can and can't do based on specific zip code. Now, it'll go county and even further down to city. So in purchasing these properties, you're going to look at a minimum income of about 31000 based on the current prevailing rate today. If you can get your income to 31,000, your credit score to 620 and you got two years on the job, well, you could purchase a house or an investment property for that matter for literally no money out of pocket through this USDA Rural Development Loan Program. So what's the negative with this USDA Rural Development Program? What's the negative in terms of purchasing a property through this type of program? Well, you've got to consider when you purchase through a USDA Rural Development Loan, you can't live within the confines of a major metropolitan city. You can't live right in the dead heart of Houston, Dallas, San Antonio, or Austin. You're going to have to be on the outskirts of what they call a rural area. Generally, the population has to be less than 10,000 people. What is the income limit for USDA loans in Houston? The program is intended to promote rural development not subsidize wealthy home buyers. So to be eligible, your household income can't be higher than 115% of the median household income in the area where you'd like to buy. What is the income limit for USDA loans in Houston? The current standard USDA loan income limit for one to four member households, that's $103,500. The 2023 limit for a five to eight member household, $136,600. To qualify for this USDA loan, you're gonna to have to be a US citizen or a permanent resident. Your monthly payment cannot exceed 29% of your monthly income. Now, you've gotta be able to verify steady income over the past 24 months, and you cannot have had any debt sent to collections in the last 12 months. That's very important. The last 12 months. So when can I do this where I live? What states qualify for this USDA Rural Development Loan Program? Well, all 50 states. However, you need to go to USDA.gov, put in your county, put in your zip code. Now, here's a map of Houston. You can even be in some parts of Harris County. Most are further out in rural areas with less than 10,000 people in population. Do your research. Do your due diligence and you can find out what's my income. How much can I make based on the city, based on the county, and based on the zip code? If I make too much money, how much do I have to make? Where can I be? You can physically put in a property address. You can look online, find a home. Simply put in that property address and it will tell you whether or not that house, that specific property address, if you can in fact get that USDA Rural Development Loan. So it's really important that everyone know this product, as they call it, it's called a USDA Rural Development Loan. So whether you're buying, building, flipping, owning, selling, it doesn't matter, you need to educate yourself. So leave us a comment, ask me a question, let me know how I can help you. We love to help educate as many people as we possibly can. 
Our goal here is to give you the most informed information so you can make the absolute best decision for you and your family. If you've got some value out of this video, go ahead and hit that like button and I'll see you on the next one.